And welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, we are fans of the Cat's Eye Distillery. Yeah, I've liked everything I've had from them so far. Now, granted... Let's tell the folks what the Cat's Eye Distillery is, because not everyone's probably heard of it. All right, so Cat's Eye is a distillery out of Iowa. Mm -hmm. uh, we are Iowa's hat Ooh. up here in Minnesota, right? <laughs> and that is how we let them know every single time we see them. Yes. And so Cat's Eye is doing, they're doing a lot of sourced stuff, because mm -hmm. I'm not sure that they're doing their own distillate yet. I, think I would imagine they're probably not producing it. Yeah, yet. in the yeah. process of that. Yep. But they have. We did a review of the NASA Family Reserve, which we both Ooh, really like. That was a blend of several different styles. Yeah, yeah. There's some light whiskey, some rye, some bourbon. Yep. Uh, that was great. I have a bottle of the light whiskey, which we should do a review on soon because that's that's the weirdest name, light whiskey, and it's a crazy high proof. Right. Like, it's dangerously high. The the high proof on the light whiskey actually when light whiskey was originally made and we'll save this for that video yeah it was proofed way down right this however is not but right. anyway that's for another video but they make the light whiskey they make some polish rye some single barrel rye so i've seen some store picks mm. really want to get some more of those but we have here that i am very excited about yeah bam this bam. is obtainium bourbon whiskey and i'm excited about this because the couple products that I've had are not traditional whiskeys. Agreed. You know, light whiskey is not a common thing these days. And uh, the, the NASA being such an interesting blend. We should have cut this thing off, off camera. Didn't I take that off of there? Um, oh, yeah. I took the one off of the other one. We always end up getting really kind of beat up by the- We do. By the plastic on these. It's either wax or plastic or- Yeah. Closure one. Hosts zero. Yeah. So this one is a five-year bourbon. It's 21% rye. Uh, this is barrel number 126 out of 168 bottles. So that's another thing that they do is all their stuff is really small batches. Small batch, yep. And it comes in at 118.2 proof. So. And we don't know the age. No, five years. Oh, five years. Oh, that should be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited about this one. It looks really dark in the bottle, so I'm excited to see what it looks like in the glass. That's right. I'm having a Ben moment. It's coming. Same thing that it... It's a synthetic cork. Yeah. They expand in the We bottle. just had another bottle where I, on camera, could not get the cork out of the bottle. I'm glad it happened to you. I'll, I'll release these videos back to back. Back just to back. So. glugs i know i always love it when it sounds like you're pouring you know six ounces of all right get into this i would maybe assume this is an mgp that would be a, a logical i know some of the other stuff in the nasif was an mgp distilled in indiana bottled in iowa okay so i think mgp is the the likely candidate yeah anytime it says distilled in indiana and it's not an Indiana bourbon in the sense that it's an Indiana distillery. Mm -hmm. Pretty much guess where it came from. Yeah. There's nothing Which wrong is with fine it. by me, yeah. MGP it's... is actually one of the older distilleries in existence. And they have a lot of products that are mm -hmm. super old and super well um, aged. Yeah. So this would definitely be a small batch bourbon. Yeah. 168 bottles in one batch, that's pretty good. Getting toffee notes initially. Yeah, nice sweetness to it. Yeah. A little bit buttery almost, maybe. Wow, that's a nice call. Yeah, there's something about it. It's nice and uh, it's got nice legs on it. Like it really kind of coats the glass. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, going for it. Not getting a huge burn on the nose at 118.2 or whatever I said it was. Yeah. Oh, man. They have properly named this bourbon. Maybe they call it unobtainium because it'll be hard to find if anyone ever tastes it because it's yeah. pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, that is good. 
got a nice burn, but it's it's one of those really exciting burns that just exposes more and more flavor. Yeah. And to be honest, it does not have a 118 proof burn. Hmm. I'm also really surprised it's only five years. Like it feels like it's older. Yeah. Like it doesn't taste like it's young. And it's got some nice color to it. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't have that grain forward, young yeah. bourbon taste. Young corn. Yeah. Doesn't taste green. Right. Yeah, that's just really well rounded. You get, a, you know, maybe more oak than you would expect off of a five year. Yeah. Nice toffee, kind of molassesy notes. It's really dense, heavy, dark. Yeah. Um, definitely get the rye influence. Mm -hmm, definitely. <laughs> it's not an overwhelming rye, but it's down the, the the barrel of a rye. You get kind of that spice. A bit of clove is what I usually get with higher rye stuff. Sure. That's much more faint in this. Like when I have this, I can, I can definitely get the rye spice to it, but I don't know if I would have guessed that it was that high rye. You know, just tasting it blind or something. Yeah, I'm, I get a rye spice, but it's it's subtle. I also wouldn't guess that it's over 118 proof. Right. Yeah, just really, really nice and balanced. Every time I have something from these guys, I. That's what I was thinking. I get excited to try whatever's next. Yeah. And even if it's, you know, something they sourced and bottled. Sure. They chose to bottle it at, you know, whatever small batch they decided yeah. was I mean, best. They picked the barrels. Yeah. And then blended them together and came up with mm -hmm. a total of 168 bottles. That's only one barrel? And that's right? at, I mean, cask strength. So, no, that's probably a couple of a barrels. Couple. I don't know how many bottles you get out of one barrel, but at cask strength... I'm assuming they didn't proof it down to 118.2. <laughs> I forget. I thought it was like 200. Anyway, it's it's a, only one or two. But that's barrels. that's maybe if you're proofing it down to like 80 yeah, for like could a be. could be you know standard run of the mill. Yeah. You know. But yeah, boy, this is just. Um, I feel like these guys really just kind of know what to what to put out there. Like they they yeah. just have a a good knack for this. Totally. So yeah, like I said, every time I have something from them, I'm like, okay, well, I'm excited to try the next thing. So I have to go get a, I want to get a bottle of, they have, I, I think a light whiskey that's finished in like a port oh, wow. or a Pinot Noir or something like that. Yeah. And I want to try one of their uh, store pick ryes because I've seen that at a couple of places in Minnesota. Now I know this actually is, some of their stuff is getting kind of wide distribution. I've seen it pop up on other channels and yeah. seen on Instagram in different states and stuff like that. Because at first I wasn't sure if maybe this was just a regional thing. Mm. I kind of thought we were special. Like this is the one thing that we get that's awesome that nobody else gets to have. Mm -hmm. But as it turns out, and good for them, yeah. their stuff is all over the place. But I don't know which of their stuff is all over the place. Gotcha. So yeah. yeah, really interesting stuff. If you haven't explored cat's eye and you you can't really tell it's cat's eye just by looking at the thing because you know it's just such a basic label yep but if you see obtainium bourbon obtainium light whiskey uh they've got like, like i said the polish rye i can't remember what the, what the rye label looks like yeah, i don't remember that one the nasif looks like this yep but it doesn't say cat's eye on it so it's kind of hard to discern what you're looking for if you're looking for something specifically from them but yeah check it out if you get a chance get get some of these products because they're really good. And I'm, I'm excited to see what happens when they start doing their own distillate, which again, I'm, I'm sure that's probably what their end goal is. Definitely. So anyway, yeah, I would recommend this for sure. Do you remember what you paid for this? Feels like 59 bucks maybe. Okay. I think so. Nice. 118 proof. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, we are fans of Cat's Eye. So uh, looking forward to getting more of these and doing some more reviews. And if you see one, get one and try it out. Let us know what you think in the comments. How about that? That's a good idea. All right. Well, this has been the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Cheers.